and hello my fellow vault dwellers welcome to another fallout 76 farm video now in today's video i'm going to show you the absolute best location to get lead now this method is a little more involved than some of the other methods that i've shown you as you will have to first gather the ore and then use acid to turn it into scraps however in a single run you can easily net over a thousand to fifteen hundred leather uh, lead scrap without even breaking a sweat. Now, there are a couple of steps to this you'll wanna take. First, you'll need the location, which is the Lucky Hole Mine. Now, the Lucky Hole Mine is just west of Fort Defiance, and southwest, I'm sorry, southeast of White Springs, and far southeast of Vault 76, for reference. Now, when you get to this location, you are going to want to be using excavator armor. Now, the reason for this is twofold. First, Excavator armor lets you carry an additional 100 pounds of weight. So, if you usually, like a lot of people, run pretty close to your max weight limit with your normal loadout, this will give you the extra 100 pounds you need for the ore. The second reason, however, is that the excavator armor has a hidden bonus. What that hidden bonus is, is that when you are mining from ore points, you get more picks, so more gather attempts per ore uh, node point, and you get more ore per uh, gather off of each point so you always want to be if you're trying to gather up ultracite lead steel uh, crystal whatever it is that you're trying to get make sure you're in your excavator power armor first as it does drastically increase how much you get so I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick clear of this I'm gonna show you from front to end how long it takes usually it's about a 20 minute run it's not that difficult I'm also in here looking for uh, some other materials as well, so you just have to bear with me while I go ahead and clear those out too. Now, you can also take the can traps as well for a little bit of additional. Now, also keep in mind that when you're using the excavator armor, the light is not as good as your pit boy so you may want to turn the brightness up on your game, or you may want to hunt around and find the brighter headlamp mod. Uh, I'm not going to bother. Um, I'm just going to make do, and I might miss some node points because of it, which is fine. Now, normally I run through as an unarmed build. I can't use unarmed weapons with this, so I just picked up any old regular level 50 power sledge. Or super sledge, I'm sorry. Now, we'll end up coming back to this later. So, from here on, once you get down to this intersection, now you want to start looking for the nodes. They'll be all over the place. Um, I believe the first set of them is actually down a dead side area. Alright, there he is. Alright, so we should start seeing some nodes over here. Kill him. So many cockroaches. I don't know why there are so many rad roaches down here this time. This is annoying. Too many. All right, and as you can see, here's a node right here, and it's lead vein. So we can pick that four times. Now, if I were not in my armor, I would have only been able to pick that once, and I would have only gotten like one or two ore. So let's go to miscellaneous and see how much we picked up. So yeah, we picked it four times for four lead ore a piece, which is fantastic. That's a lot more ore than most people are gonna be getting if they're not using the armor. So we'll go ahead and pick these out. Still looking for more. Like I said, the lights in here are very dim with this particular armor set. Most of the power armors, their initial lights are not that great, so you just kind of have to make do. Uh, and there's a fourth one. A lot of times when you hit these end areas, these little uh, dead end spots, the dead end spots tend to have nodes in fours, clumps of four. So like, there's one. There's two, um, let's see, there's three, and there should be one more somewhere, and I'm probably missing it because of this light. May only be three down here, but you get the idea. You want to be looking around, be very aware of what's in this area. I'm not going to waste a bunch of time, because there's plenty of nodes on the way down through. So, we're just going to move along. another dead end spot. Oh look, they're shooting themselves with explosives. Okay, so they're all done. Now let's look for what we came down here for. Aha! 
Oh, this is the glitched one that you can't get to. I don't think. Yeah, that's the one you can't get. There's one that was there. I knew there was one down here somewhere that was glitched. You couldn't get to it easily. And there might be some buried underneath their bodies. Yep, there's one. And then there's one in the ceiling. Alright, so let's keep moving. So many rad roaches down here. This is ridiculous. Now, we're starting to get down deep enough in the mine that you're going to be wanting to watch the sides of the hallways as well. Um, you'll start seeing them there as well. So while I'm doing that, what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to jump out. I'm going to put that away for the moment. And I'm just going to turn my light on because it will make this a little bit easier. And then I'll pull the armor out again when I get closer to what I need. Alright, so we just keep our eyes open. Still moving down through here. Okay, we hit another dead end. You can pop that open if you want. I don't normally bother because you'll end up coming at them from the backside anyways, and you'll have a key then. Alright, so we'll finish them off real quick. I don't need the mole miner gauntlet on this character. Alright, and we're still looking for more lead. Now we're starting to get down to where it's going to be on the walls naturally, so there's some I should have gotten in my excavator. That was stupid. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull that back out. Oops. Alright, let's turn our light on. And there's some... And now we have to be careful as we go down through here. Now, as you get deeper into the mine, you're going to find locations, uh, node points for crystal as well as lead. Uh, if you need crystal, by all means, take care of it. I do not use crystal for anything that I'm currently playing, so I just leave it. Just keep moving on to the next. All right, so there's some right out here in the water. Make sure you check the ceilings, because they do spawn on the ceilings as well. Some here. Nope, that's crystal. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, you'll start coming across crystal here fairly early in the mine. Alright, let's go left first. Just keep your eyes open. Now I usually pull about 600 if I do a good full clear. I'll usually pull about 600 ore out of here. looking. I think it's this light that's throwing me off. I usually go ahead and gather, if I plan on spending a lot of time farming ore, I usually go ahead and grab a uh, the headlamp upgrade. I don't know why I can't target this one. Some of these are glitchy for some reason. You can't get them. There's not a lot of them. There's a couple. Alright, so there's some more lead. There's some more lead. That's crystal. That's lead. And as you can see, the crystal down here looks very similar to the lead, so you just gotta quickly mouse over and check. But as you can see, I'm gathering quite a bit with very little effort. Alright, there's keypad, I don't have the number. And the nice thing is, is even if somebody has come through and hit this before you, you can still do this, because it's not it's not uh it's not a shared spawn thing. It's not like the other stuff, other world loot, uh, where if somebody comes through and picks it up, it's gone until it respawns. Each of these are locked to the individual. What's this? Crystal. And that one I can't get. Crystal. I think this is the main crystal room. Still looking for lead.
And as you can see, we've been getting quite a bit of lead with very little effort down through here. I'll go ahead and pick this. Now you can get a key down here that'll give you um, that'll give you access to everything without really having to work too hard for it. Um, I recommend that once you've done this the first time in a character, you make sure you get that key before you leave. It's down in the bottom of the mine somewhere. I don't remember where exactly, but it's there. Okay, and I think this was an area that I already hit. It is. All right, so let's go back up. Is this where we took the left or the right? No, we have to go back down, further down here. Don't ask me why, this is the only mine in the game that just confuses the heck out of me. I have a really hard time navigating this. I've been down here several times to uh, do various uh, mine runs and I always get lost in here. Probably because I'm always in this super dark power armor light thing. That's more crystal. Alright, we'll kill the enemies first. And go back to what we were doing. Alright, so enemy's dead. What's that? That's crystal two. Alright. I don't see anything over there. What do we got over here? Anything? Yeah, there's a couple points. That's lead. That's lead. That's crystal. 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 Man, there's a lot of crystal down here today. I don't remember there being this much crystal before. Of course, I may just have been missing them or not been paying enough attention, but definitely seems like there's a disproportionate amount of them. Still looking for more. That's crystal. Oh, I know where we are. Okay. Okay, and there's the walkway through here, which takes us back to the secret area. Alright, so now we're hitting lead again, which is good. Some more there. All right, lots of lead, lots of lead, lots of lead. That's what we need. All the lead, please. All right, so we got that should be a little bit more now this secret tunnel leads back to like a little area where they were playing games with other people and stuff you got this one here and then there was another side area over here when you go through this side area here it'll take you to another spot but a lot of this stuff is like hidden behind all these leaves and foliage and roots and stuff so you just kind of got to be a little aware I'm just gonna go ahead and double check for lead real quick I don't believe there was any in here, but you can also always get a cultist dagger here if you want one. It's, all, it's an, a guaranteed spawn for this location. <laughs> Alright. Let's go back on the other side room. Side tunnel. See if we can't pick up a little bit more lead. Now the nice thing about this place is, is when you're done, you do not have to find your way back out on foot. You can very quickly fast travel out, which I recommend that you do because trying to find your way back out of here is just a huge time sink and it's a pain. And I'm not good at it, so I try and fast travel wherever I can. All right, and this brings us out to, okay, this is the old God location, yeah. 
This is apparently the body of some old god or something. All right, so I don't see any lead down here, so we're gonna call that as a mostly complete run. Let me head back to my camp real quick, and we'll take a look at what we ended up with. Now, I like this run because of how quick and easy it is. Um, I did not do the full clear. There were a couple of other little side areas I could have done, but this is still gonna give you a rough idea while trying to keep the video fairly short of just how much you can get from this location. So, let me go ahead on up here. All right, let me get out of my armor. All righty. Is it this one or is it the Tinker's Bench? I always forget. No, it's this one. And as you can see, we picked up 268 lead ore, which will give us about 1,250 lead scrap when we actually turn it all over. Now, if you are using Super Duper along with this, you can have the 30% chance of doubling it. So instead of getting five lead scrap, you'd have a chance of getting 10, which can greatly increase depending upon how many procs it goes off. So if you like this video and you would like to see more like it showing you the absolute most efficient ways to get certain materials, go ahead and throw it a thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel down below. Uh, I'm putting out two videos a day every single day at 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Fallout 76. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or suggestions for future content, go ahead and leave it in the comment box down below for me. I do read and respond to every comment and question that comes in. So be safe in the wastelands and thanks for watching, guys.